Hey everyone, it's Mario. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be testing out some rings and a brush. No, not wedding rings and not a brush for my hair or beard. It's for food. We got these silicone rings and a brush that came in the mail today. So we're going to check it out with some eggs and maybe something else. So stick around. All right, so these are called newbie silicone egg rings set of four for eggs pancakes and whatever else it's a set of four two we got we got four colors we got red yellow green and blue it's a good thing they're not fancy colors and uh comes with a little brush for uh basting and putting on whatever type of barbecue sauce that i may or may not do now most of these are the same i've seen them anywhere from six to twelve bucks this was eleven dollars but it came with a brush there was another one for eleven dollars but it came with some sort of a egg cookbook and i don't need an egg cookbook i figured this was probably more use to me the seven dollar ones were kind of questionable with a couple of the reviews and they didn't have a lot of them so i decided to go with these here one of the main reasons i got this was a to have fun of course b uh, my daughter likes the little pancakes, so I might use it for that. But also, when I make my bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel, uh, you probably see me. I'll pop a link up in the corner. I uh, get a bagel, which is about four inches in diameter. And when I make the egg, maybe it's about this big. And I put the cheese, and I fold everything over and on top. So I thought it'd be cool to kind of have the perfect size uh, egg to put on top. I also want to try these with uh, sunny side up eggs, my favorite type. So I'm going to wash these and uh, we're going to get going for it. Okay, first things first. Let's get this uh, burner going. Medium heat. Need to get some uh, bread ready. Because one of these eggs is going to be sunny side up. And the other is going to be just a uh, beaten egg for a bacon, egg, and cheese. Although I won't have the bacon, egg, and cheese today. What a waste time huh? using this fancy Breville just for toast. Set that to toast there. Wait for that to heat up. Okay, let's get started with beating one egg here. Let's not forget to add some salt and pepper. My pink Himalayan and some regular peppercorn. So beat that up again. And the other egg will be sunny side up, so we won't crack that just yet. I've heard a few different things about these, a way to do it. They say make sure you oil the butter the pan, that's a given. But I've also heard things like, you know, make sure you spray this, make sure you wish it around first to make sure that it makes good contact. I've heard some people say you're doing pancakes, just touch this to the batter, then put it in here, it creates a seal, otherwise it leaks. Yada yada, I don't know. I'm just gonna give it a go. There's also people who use it two different ways, is they'll use it with the larger portion up top so when they put an egg or pancake in here they can lift this up like this and it'll come out and they can flip it over like this i don't know about that i'm gonna have the big piece down because that's the way i want it so um this will be heated up shortly and uh the bread i will start after i put the eggs on the pan here another thing i hear about complaints from people is these little handles tend to flop down and uh, these seem to be okay. And even if they did flop down, that's a matter of just pinching these uh, with a pair of pliers or something. I think it's fine. They're standing up pretty well by itself. What color should I use today? I'm going to use uh, green and yellow. All right, this is building up some good heat. So I'm going to spray Pam. I know, controversial. Pam. Spray it up good. And the reason why I'm spraying it up good is because I want this here to get some good uh, steel. Now usually with my sunny side up eggs, I put the cover over it so it uh, cooks the top just a little bit. I don't have that option here. So right now we are going to do this egg first, the sunny side up. Pop that in there. And we're gonna pour this in here. And they say to do it slow. Of course, I don't know how you can crack an egg slow, but hey, whatever works, right? No egg is seeping through. 
I could see just a little came out of the bottom here, but I did kind of just dump the egg in there. I'm going to start the toast up in the Breville. All right, so we're going to start the toast. We got uh, two slices, and we will start that up. It says six minutes. We'll see. I never use this burner for eggs, but this is a big pan here. Uh, this pan will allow to use up to four of these. It does look like it's cooking on the slow side, and I'm assuming the reason for that is the egg usually dumps out all over the pan. It's a very thin layer, but uh, it's cooking. Okay, let's see what happens if I try to pull the ring off the sunny side up egg. Nice. Look at that. I know some people uh, get fancy, not me, but put an egg on top of their burger. That would be perfect. And if we look at the size of a bagel, four inch, that is the, also the perfect size for this right here. Egg still looks a little bit runny. I don't honestly want to take that off, but this egg is doing good. I think it's because of it's a lack of heat here. Look at that. Nice. Now in about a minute, I think I'll turn this upside down because there's still a lot of uh, wet egg here. But this egg right here, on the other hand, looks pretty good. Came right off, good to know. Move these towards the center. Let's see about flipping this. I think I'm gonna have some run, but yeah, a little bit. Not bad. I can see the egg getting taller. I could turn off the heat, I think. I think if I do this test again, I am gonna use it with a smaller pan and just do the one egg, because I don't have a cover big enough, a glass cover big enough to fit over this pan to help heat and cook the top portion of the egg. There we go. Look at that. I could do over easy. Let's try that. Oh, look what happened to my over easy egg. And this looks done. Here's what we got. Let's give it a taste. Looks like my bread's ready. some of this remember I did this over easy tastes good and speaking of taste I uh, remember when I was reading the description on this the first thing first line talked about you know no BPA this that and the other thing that was one of the main reasons why I chose this the other ones was kind of an afterthought the fact that this had it listed first gave me a better feeling about it Don is giving me a look for eating eggs. Did I ever tell you she's afraid of eggs? Mm. Mm. You want some egg? No. That's terrible. Ah, look. You want an egg? Eggs perfect. Anyway, all joking aside. It works. It's a good product. You will need a big pan. Um, I think that was a 12 inch pan I had there. <clears throat> and that'll cook, you know, four at a time. When I'm cooking just one egg for myself, I'll probably get the eight inch pan I have and use one of those. And I can also use the lid because I can push this down, put it on top, and then I'll be able to put the cover on top of it. Or I could pull the ring off before I put the top on it. Ready to go. Anyway, if you like this quick video of the egg rings, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Hit that little bell so you know when I've made a new video. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. She doesn't like eggs. $400 toast. I mean, after all, I did make it in a Breville. <laughs>